Hello, this is Video Free America One, and I'm going to give you another email archive. This is kind of a funny one, and I'm going to ask forgiveness for it right now because it is kind of funny, but it's kind of off color a little bit. But I'm going to I'm going to do it for you anyway because it is really kind of funny. Okay? Yeah, this is Video Free America One, and this is my kind of off color email, but it said. This morning, the Muslim Brotherhood warned the United States that if it continued meddling in Egypt, Libya, and other potential hotspots in the Middle East, they intend to cut off America's supply of 7-Eleven and Motel 6 managers. If this action does not yield sufficient results, cab drivers will be next, followed by Dell, AT&T, and AOL customer service reps. Finally, if all else fails, they have threatened not to send us any more presidents. It's going to get ugly, people. That's funny, man. I don't care what anybody says. Forgive me, Lord, for doing that, but that's funny stuff. Video Free American One here again. I got another email archive here. It's called, Would You Leave the Church? Worth thinking about for a moment or two. One Sunday morning during service, a 2,000-member congregation was surprised to see two men enter, both covered from head to toe in black and carrying submachine guns. One of the men proclaimed, Anyone willing to take a bullet for Christ, remain where you are. Immediately, the choir fled. The deacons fled, and most of the congregation fled. Out of the 2,000, there only remained 20. The man who had spoken took off his hood, and he looked at the preacher and said, Okay, Pastor, I got rid of all the hypocrites. Now you may begin your service. Have a nice day. And the two men turned and walked out. Too deep not to pass on. It's funny how simple it is for people to trash God and wonder why the world is in a condition it is today. Funny how we believe that what, what the new newspapers say, but question what the Bible says. Funny how everyone wants to get wants to go to heaven provided they don't have to believe or say, think, or do anything the Bible says. Funny how someone can say, I believe in God, but still follow Satan, who, by the way, also believes in God. Funny how you can spend send a thousand funny jokes to the email and they spread like wildfire. But when you start sending messages, messages regarding the Lord, you think twice about sharing. Funny how the lewd, crude, vulgar, and obscene pass freely through cyberspace, but the public discussion of Jesus is suppressed by the local school and workplace. Funny, isn't it? Funny how, you, how when you go to, the, to go to forward this message, you will not send it to many of your address lists because you're not sure what, the, what they believe or what they will think of, of you for sending it. Are you thinking? Will you share this with people you care about or not? I picked you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his favor upon you and give you his peace. Number 6, 24 through 26. You know, I sent this message on, so I'm not afraid of, of Christ. I'm not afraid of being a believer. I'm not afraid of it. So I picked, the, I picked you two. I picked the people that are listening to this message if they do. I picked them. I, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm willing to die for Christ. I don't care. He's my Savior. He's my Lord. He's put me through a lot of things and got me through a lot of troubles in my life. And I, I believe with all my heart and my soul and my mind. This is Video Free, Video Free America One signing off. Hello, this is Video Free America One. And I'd just like to know if you like those emails or not. I thought that the first one was kind of funny. The second one was really real. I mean, it's the truth, man. People are going to deny Christ when it comes right down to it. There's a lot of them that will. Unless you have a strong faith now, please, please accept Jesus into your heart. It's getting close, people. I, 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 pray, for, I pray for the world. I'm only one person. Please, you have to believe for yourselves. Just ask Jesus into your heart. It's not that hard. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Guide my life. I surrender to you. I want to serve you the rest of my life. In your name I pray. Just a simple fact. That's all it is. Just that little prayer. And you're in like Flint. And Jesus will love you. Just let him do do what you, you know, let him lead you. Don't make the decisions. Just confer with Jesus first. You know, confer with God. Say, God, what do I do next? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. And always acknowledge him and he will direct your path. That's Proverbs 4, 3, 5, and 6. Okay? Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. And always acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Simple. Simple. This is Video Free America 1 sign off. Thank you. God bless.